What's crack like it, everybody and welcome back to another Miss Elite video. So guys today we have the most anticipated video on Miss Elite. We have the one, the only 2014 Unless the Least Pokemon card collection. This has been so requested, it's been ridiculous, and then you might be thinking, Ando, what's up with the camera angle? I thought I'd show you guys another collection of mine. The uh, major drawing wall I've been working on, I've actually started expanding it that way. Hopefully we can start putting stuff on the roof, because I don't know if you guys knew or not, but I live in the attic, so that's actually the roof, and it comes down, as you can see, like right about there. So uh, hopefully we can actually start getting stuff on the roof, the corner there, it is getting so hashtag great. That is just part one of my collection. Let me show you my whole Pokemon card collection. So a lot of people always ask me, do I chuck out my boost packs? Do I chuck out my tins, my booster boxes? And surprisingly the answer is actually no. I keep my uh, booster boxes for number one reason, they stack into each other. I don't know if you guys open like one or more booster boxes. When you finish folding them, you can actually stack them into each other and sort of make like a long rod thing. It's really cool. But with my tins, I don't throw them out either just because they're like metal and I I feel bad like chucking a whole metal tin out in the rubbish bin. So uh, I've been collecting tins ever since I sort of started PokeTubing and now I have an insane amount of tins. And as far as boost packs go, I actually keep them downstairs in a box. I'm hoarding them for a Christmas special idea. I'm actually going to make a Christmas tree out of all the boost packs I collected. So I'm really looking forward to that, but we're going to have to wait till Christmas for that one. Alright guys, let's get into the main attraction. I know everybody wants to see this. Every time I meet a fan in public, they're always like, Ando, where do you keep your commons, uncommons, rares? Do you buy another house on another planet and just store them all there? Because you must have so many. Well, once again, the answer is no. I actually keep all my cards as well. Um, I've got four box, well, four, no, five boxes worth of cards here. Uh, it ranges from really small to absolutely massive, so I'll start with the really small one. You guys might remember this bad boy. So first up, I've got the Pokemon 15th Anniversary Collection box. You're like, Ando, that is the smallest box ever. How do you keep all your cards in there? This is just an overflow box at the moment, because I'm in the middle, sort of changing over where I keep my stuff. But, uh, but yeah, this is a small one with all the overflow cards. So I know your next question is like, Ando, where are the cards overflowing from? Well, this is box number four. So this is the Furious Fist box. You might remember being opened. When we open it up there. We've got all those cards. I think it's about 900 cards fit in this one. We've got to go on sideways up and down because that's really just a space saver idea. I don't know if it actually saves space. Probably not in my case, but uh, that rhymes. Hey! But yeah, that's just a really nifty box. I keep like one fifth of my Pokemon cards in. So my two other major card holders are the red and blue X and Y Elite Trainer Box Collection box thingies. How many times I say box? But these bad boys here store an amazing, like, I think 700 cards a pop. So that's 1,400 cards between the two, and that is still going. Uh, these are my commons, uncommons, rares, and hollows all mixed into one. Haven't really sorted them out yet. I probably should get around to that, but I'm super lazy. Alright guys, that was a bit of a sample party. You had a bit of a sip of your wine. Let me show you where I keep a majority of my cards. This is going to be insane. I don't even know if I can hold this up. I keep them all in a massive shoebox that you can't even see how deep that is. That is quite a massive shoebox full. Just a quick comparison, I thought I'd put my iPhone 4 just here so you get the measurements of that and then you compare it to how many Pokemon cards here. So this is one pile in the box here, it goes all the way up to there. It's uh, fairly reasonable, I'd say it's uh, like quite a few iPhones there, but then we look at the box. We have an in, I don't know how many. So uh, we've got 12 different piles as well as this one mini one here. So yeah, somehow I've filled a whole shoebox full of Pokemon cards as well as a couple of other boxes. I've also got one more box of commons which is the plasma blast elite trainer box one but uh but that's in the back of my cupboard and it's sort of hiding behind everything so i don't really want to get it out at the moment so usually when people see the amount of commons and uncommons they have they're like where the flip of the exs so i've actually got a ridiculous amount of exs at the moment i'm going to line them all up on the ground do a bird's eye shot and you can just pause the video when you see ex you like so without further ado this is my entire ex collection <laughs> Yeah, this is an absolutely epic uh, collection. It's sort of like a wall, so I thought the quickest way of doing this was in sort of pictures. So uh, I zoom in on one set, and you guys can pause the video and have a read on the card if you really like it. But, uh, but I've also put at the bottom of all these EXs, I chucked in some shinies as you see now. I've got a bunch of primes, level Xs, and I think they're half cards as well. These primes, I don't know why, but they stand out so good color wise. I really like the colors on those. And then we've got those awesome half cards. And I know what you're saying, you're like, Ando, you didn't sleeve any of those cards up. Don't worry, they are all sleeved up. I have a whole flipping tin of sleeves. Uh, I just took them out for the video because the glare would be ridiculous. See, like, Ando EX is a great doll, but I'm looking for full arts. I'm looking for secret rares, the main thing of your collection. Well, guys, this is why I idolize the most. It's the Southern Islands collection. And in Southern Finder, it's every ultra rare, all the cards I find really amazing. And yeah, let's go take a look at it. So yeah, these are my uh, really good cards, or my full art secret rares and uh, base set-ish sort of cards, as you'll find out. But uh, we got three pages worth of full arts, and if they're a bit blurry, I'm sorry, the camera's sort of having a bit of trouble focusing. But if you watch a few episodes of Mailman Monday, that's where actually a majority of my cards come from, so you better see them like, up close. 
Um, here we got some old school EXs. I got about two pages worth, and oh my gosh, they get even better every time you look at them. Um, next up is the base set Neo Destiny Gym Challenge Gym Hero cards. The reason I keep these in, just because I really like the old school artwork, how it's really hand drawn and good old Ken Sugimori, I think his name is. He's a fantastic artist, and these are the secret rares and hollows. So, another common question I often get is, Andrew, what's your favorite card? And you might be thinking, you know, the gold card, the full art thunderous. They are definitely my favorite cards. But if you're talking favorite, favorite card, I'm talking about this bad boy here. It is so cool. It's kept in a Pokeball that opens itself. It is the one, the only, 23 karat pure gold card. That is insane. I cannot believe I still have this. If you didn't see the opening, I'll link it in the description below. But, uh, but yeah, I actually have a solid, well, it's not solid gold. It's a gold-plated Pokemon card. It's got the certificate of authenticity in here. It's in a shiny po- oh gosh, it fell out. So yeah, I think that's my favorite Pokemon card today. A lot of people were like, no, Ander, you're not two chains. You can have a gold plate and everything. And I'm like, you know what? I can, because it's a gold plated Pokemon card and they're only $30. So guys, that just about wraps up my 2014 Pokemon card collection. I tried to keep it really short so you guys wouldn't get too bored, because I know a lot of these get boring, but make sure you do leave a comment in the comment section below. What is your collection like? What is your favorite card in the entire world? Even if you don't have it, make sure you do leave a comment. But what do you do next, guys? What do you do? You top me up, though. You make sure you keep on gaming. See you then, guys.